The Chopping Block, the ninth episode of AMC's Lucky Hank drama series, continues Dickie Pope's attempts to have the Railton College instructors fire. In order to keep Pope off the list, William Henry Hank DeVero, Jr., is required to pick three professors he can lose. Willie spends some time with Hank and Julie before heading back to New York. Julie resists Russell's attempts to get in touch with her. The captivating episode comes to a thrilling conclusion with a number of amazing occurrences involving Hank's personal and professional lives. If you share our curiosity regarding the episode 8 climax, watch to know what we think. Spoilers ahead. Lucky Hank finale recap. Hank first meets Dickie Pope in the chopping block to discuss Railton College instructors losing their jobs due to budget constraints. The professor promises him that he will make it known to the public that the latter is dismissing teachers in order to recoup the $10 million he had to pay to erect the Jeffrey Epstein building. Hank is forced to compile a list when Pope dismisses him. Hank tries, but he can't get any aid, thus he fails. When Russell visits Hank's home to see Julie again, she rejects him since he injured her. He yet keeps living in a tent outside the property. Lily visits Hank and Julie and then goes back to New York City. She tells Catherine Keener how much she and her husband adore her when they run into one another at a cafe. Before the former departs for Florida, Dean Rose and Gracie Dubois had a sexual encounter at his office. To learn more about the $10 million Pope must have spent on the new college building, Hank and Tony Canigula meet with Jeffrey Epstein. Hank and Tony are perplexed as to why the college administration decided to fire teachers after Epstein informs them that Pope might not have followed suit. Emma, Finney, and Billy Quigley are the three professors that will lose their jobs, according to Rose. The English department professors are depressed when Tony extends an invitation to his home with a hot tub to them. Hank confronts Meg Quigley about why she had a sexual relationship with Russell before realizing that his friend had also harmed him. Julie and Russell eventually start chatting, but she is still not interested in getting back together with the cheater. Hank learns at lunch with his mother Laurel and father Henry DeVero SR that the renowned professor was forced to resign due to allegations that turned out to be untrue. Lucky Hank ending. Do Hank and Lily break up or stay together? For some time, Hank and Lily have been in denial. Lily aspires to develop herself by escaping the dullness in which Hank has lost himself. She considers leaving her husband after coming to New York City and realizing she no longer has to make significant compromises in her life. On the other side, Hank is aware that his wife is sick of him. Even though their daughter Julie points out that they are essentially divorced, he still does nothing but watch as his marriage breaks down. He does, however, come to the realization that he needs to change at the lunch with Henry and Laurel. He unexpectedly appears in NYC to save their marriage, which surprises Lily. Lily expresses her joy at watching her spouse act in her best interests, without even giving it any thought, which frequently caused the husband to postpone his plans. Hank does not want to do nothing and let Lily slip away. He departs for New York City to ensure that his behavior, or lack thereof, won't lead to their separation in the same way that his father's abandonment of Laurel did. It is anticipated that Hank's decision to move to NYC to be with Lily will partially mend their relationship. Lily's expression transforms from initial happiness as she realizes that Hank is the same person despite of his relocation to New York City. Even though Hank and Lily do not end their relationship, it is still possible. Before making additional attempts to mend their relationship, Hank must change if he truly wants to save their marriage. To match Lily's aims and objectives, he must overcome his skepticism and inertia. Lily is in New York City to appreciate life, therefore she might not put up with Hank if all he does is hate it. If Hank's misery persists, Lily would not want him to ruin her time in New York City, which might result in their breakup. Therefore, Hank's capacity and readiness to change as a person will determine the future of their relationship. Does Hank leave Railton College? Hank hands in his resignation letter to Dean Rose and departs for New York City to be with Lily. Rose reads the same and shreds the document after refusing to accept it. Hank makes the decision to leave Railton College in order to put his relationship with Lily first. Hank and Laurel were part of Henry's family, but he put his career as a professor and academician above them. As a result, Henry retired alone and had no one to care for him. Hank could wish to prevent such a situation, so he informs Rose of his resignation. Rose, however, probably believes that Hank made the same decision without giving it much thought and instead did so on a whim. Rose has known Hank for a very long time and is aware that his behaviors should only be taken with a grain of salt. Rose's speculative supposition might even be accurate given Hank's character. The English professor may hate his time in NYC when he struggles to keep up with Lily's goals and aspirations, which could cause him to return to Railton. Hank might even carry on working at Railton College given that Rose hasn't accepted his resignation. Hank might permanently lose Lily if that happens. The English professor can turn out to be just like his father and accuse him of being responsible for his own setbacks. He no longer works at the college as well, so Rose must have destroyed the notice. He must have refrained from informing another college official of the notice due to his presumption regarding Hank. Why do Dickie Pope get fired? Do the Railton professors get fired? Hank and Tony reach a dead end in their efforts to save the professors when Jeffrey Epstein informs them that Pope couldn't have built the center with the businessman's name on it using funds from the faculty budget. But Epstein proves to be their savior when he reveals that Pope has had his eye on the MIT president's job. 
Hank quickly makes the connection and realizes that Pope wants the professors gone in order to demonstrate to Mitt that he is a very capable administrator in order to be appointed to the position. He plans to pay the price of the academic's jobs in order to land his ideal job at a prestigious university. To prevent Pope from firing professors, Hank and his crew present the entire situation to a local TV station. The college board then dismisses Pope for jeopardizing the reputation of the school in order to satisfy his own wants. The board resolves not to dismiss any professor from any department because there is sufficient funding in the budget to support the faculties and prevent a scandal, which makes it clear that Emma, Finney, and Billy won't be leaving. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more.